Well, hello guys, Big Daddy Hoffman, 1911 coming to you. On this summer day here in North Carolina, and it's hot and humid, I can tell you that. So you might be sweating with the oldies before I get finished with this video, but <laughs> we'll see. Anyway, it's unusual to see me with a stake and a hammer in my hand. <laughs> Usually you have a shotgun, a rifle, or a pistol or something. But I've got something from MGM Targets that I think you might be interested in and I'd like to show it to you. So I'm going to take you to the table and I'm going to show you these in action. Let's get it done. Okay, I took the camera off the tripod and man, looks like we got a table full of fun here. Yes, sir. Some white flyer targets. That's the regular double A's. There's some green, some biodegradable, some white, and some orange crushers. And we got three nice looking shotguns here. The Winchester SX3, the Benelli Super Sport, and the Benelli Cordoba. I'm not sure which I'll use in the video, but we'll find out here shortly. Now these are called um, MGM Clay Pigeon Holders. So if you go to MGM Targets, and I'll post the information underneath this video, check them out. I think you'll really like these. Set your clay target right up here. I really like how they set up on this ledge. They set up really sturdy. They come in a set of six. You get three of the um, 24 inch, you get three of the 36 inch, okay? All right, guys, let's go see them in action. Right there you see the Whirly Gig by MGM. They make, that's a great target, it's a lot of fun. And right beside of it is the uh, Spinner. So I really enjoy these. But anyway, I've got the regular double A's over here to the left of me. Then I've got the biodegradable, the orange crusher, the white, and the, and the green. So, all right, I got my eyes and ears on. So I don't know how good you'll be able to see this. Maybe I should adjust the camera in just a hair. All right, I'm off safety. I'm ready to rock and roll. So here we go. I'll start over here to the right and work my way left, okay? All right. <laughs> All right, orange pressure. All right, I'll get you a close-up view of that in, in just a second. Guys, I don't know if you noticed which one smoked the best, but it looks to me like the Orange Crusher did pretty good, and also the Biodegradable did very good. So I'm going to get you a close-up shot and let you make a judgment on that, okay? Let, them, let me set them back up. Okay, here we go. All right, there's the first one there. And you notice when I was shooting those that none of them, none of the ovens flew off. So what you want to do is come down here, start at the bottom, sort of lip it over the, the bottom lip right here, and then put it over the top. And that way it's not flopping around, okay? If I just lay it like this right here, you know, it'll stay there, but it'll flop around. And also when you shoot another target, it's, it's liable to to hit a piece and fly off. So if you just come in from the bottom like this and lay them up there like that, you'll have a good steady target and you see it's not moving around. I'll put my finger on it, all right? Let's see, that's a regular double A on the first shot. That's gonna be a the regular double A green. And this is gonna be the biodegradable one this time. Okay, we'll just set that down right there. Come over the top, make sure it's on there good and solid, it is. All right, and the next one will be white. All right, see it's on there really good. Nothing to this, I really like these. And the next one will be the orange crusher with the powder in the middle of it. Okay. Okay guys. I zoomed in a little bit. 
Again, I've got the orange crusher right here, the white, the biodegradable, the green, and the regular, okay? This is strictly gonna be about how these clay targets react and how good these little stands hold up, okay? So let's get it done, all right? I'm gonna start over here to the left this time. Here goes the biodegradable. You can see that pretty good. All right, all right. Guys, you've seen that one move on me a little bit, so all you gotta do is just drive it back down in the ground. Good. I actually gave me a sledgehammer. I didn't know how far to drive them in the ground, but uh, if you put them in the ground, they're not going to move when you hit it with a shotgun. And that's one thing I really like about these. You can see this is, weather is beating me to death. I'll get to where I can't talk here in a minute. It's, uh, <laughs> heart disease and, and uh, diabetes is kicking my butt. And I'm trying to do better. I don't smoke anymore. I don't eat any more junk. I'm still fat, but I've lost about 20 pounds, but I'm trying, man, I'm trying. I uh, can't wait for fall where we can get out here and enjoy this wonderful sport a whole lot more. So. I can start pumping out the videos a lot more. So I'm not finished yet here. I think I'm gonna load these things up one more time and get you another shot. All right. We're loaded back up. And uh let's see if, if this zoom and this angle doesn't show up just a little bit better, okay? All right, I'm gonna pop them off pretty quick. We're on fire, eyes and ears on. Here we go, guys. Gotta love it. Gotta love it. Yes, indeed. Again, I'm shooting the uh, Benelli Cordoba with the NSI two and three quarter, seven and a half shot, 1300 feet per second uh, shot shells. I'm not having any trouble out of them at all. Of course, this Benelli seems to handle anything I put in it. Okay, guys, I had to get you one more shot zoomed in pretty close. So let's see how this looks. Here we go. Beat the orange crusher on the left. Biodegradable. Oh yeah. <laughs> Love it. Okay, before I close it out, I'm back to the table. Laid my shotgun down here. And again, I was using this, this ammo, the NSI. And it is low brass, and it seemed to do very well. So let's see. I'll, I'll do the video on this one later, the, the Do-All. Also, I have some other targets here that I'm going to show. These are also made by Do-All, and uh, it's called a Bonehead. So you might want to have some fun with those. And another thing, um, I did happen to, to get some uh, POV glasses that I haven't tried before. And I hope these work out real well. Uh, I bought the, uh, the micro SD card uh, for super slow motion for it uh, yesterday, but uh, I'm too hot to uh, uh, proceed with this, and I'm going to have to stop. So let me uh, go back to the uh, tripod. I had a few notes I'd made on here. Uh, I apologize for... Uh, losing my strength on you guys and uh, sweating so much, but just can't help it. I'm in my 60s, and my best words to you guys is uh, take care of yourself while you're young and uh, where you don't maybe uh, find yourself in the kind of shape I'm in and you can enjoy life a little bit because it doesn't matter how many firearms or how much you have or anything. 
if you don't have your health, you don't have anything. So hang in there and take care of yourself. And I remember Big Daddy Hoffman told you that. <laughs> Again, uh, these run around $99.39. Go to the website. I will list it underneath the video. And uh, that's not bad for you get six of them. So I think that's very reasonable. Um, I didn't see any damage on them. I think you'll again be able to enjoy them for years and years and years. One thing I really liked about them is the fact that you could mount them firmly on that plate. And also I did like the uh, biodegradable ones. They gave off a lot of smoke. So when I put them in the MET clay target machine, you guys are going to be able to see them at a distance, which I hope to get that video uploaded really soon. And uh, I like the orange crusher targets as well. So. Uh, guys, remember to stay in the fight against gun control, support the NRA, and as always, remember, Big Daddy loves you. Hoorah. Take care, guys. See you. God bless you all.